all big Tesla news for the first week of February. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Tesla stock finished the week at 852.23, up 4.5% on the week. Compared with the Dow Jones, up 3.5%, the NASDAQ up 4.5%, and the S&P up 4% pretty good week for the market overall, so no real surprises on Tesla. I am a bit under the weather this week, so forgive me if I'm not quite as peppy as usual, but rest assured it's just the common cold. Tesla stock gets second thousand dollar price target from Argus Research. Look, there are now two Wall Street analysts that have big targets, and that's because they love the stonk. And I say that because... At this point, we should realize these guys are kind of just guessing at what they're doing. ARK Invest has dramatically increased their holdings after just a few days ago, selling down a bit. Look at that. They sold at 846 and bought back in at 793. Boom. Again, I gotta say stonks. Two of the greatest legends in Tesla stuff sat down for an interview. Sandy Monroe of Monroe and & Associates and Elon Musk of, I want to say, The Boring Company? Anyway, they had a great conversation and confirmed what I had said in my earlier video about the front and rear Cybertruck giga casting and the structural battery between them with the foldy origami steel atop. I mean, come on guys, at some point you gotta recognize that I'm actually telling you what's real. GM just sped up the depreciation of everything it owns, and that's because what they own is a legacy of internal combustion engine cars, and yeah, they're going to say that by 2035, five years ahead of schedule, they will be 100% electric. GM also made this wholly absurd ad, which I shall play part of now. <sighs> Never mind. With GM's new Ultium battery, we're going to crush those losers. Yeah, did you notice the part where they said that the car isn't real and isn't even for sale? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I mean, Will Ferrell is a great comedian, but this entire video is a joke. Breaking, Tesla's received environmental report approval for Giga Shanghai that shows that the new manufacturer processes have been added for a new model early launch project. It may indicate not only that the company's already developed a new model, but intends to begin a production soon. And here's the actual story over on Tasmanian. Look at that. What a great render. <laughs> Photo, budget direct car insurance. Oh my gosh, you guys, your viral campaign is on point. Don't click on them. So it's great. It's a, it's, 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 it's entirely possible that a $25,000 Tesla variant is coming soon like very soon from Shanghai. And here's the thing, this would probably have a ground up a platform from which Shanghai, Berlin, and the US could each add their own top. That would be magnificent. A hot hatch in the market that needs it, a small hatch where it's needed, a maybe small uh, sports car in the US, who knows? I'm excited to find out. If you want to get even more content, go behind the scenes and support the channel, consider helping me out on Patreon for as little as a buck a month. A Tesla electric van is coming as soon as there are batteries for it. And by the way, what a great render, apart from the fact that the handle shouldn't be here, but here because that's not how vans work, but otherwise it's fantastic, and what a great idea, what a great concept. The only problem is batteries are constrained, and minivans are pretty much dead at this point. There are very few manufacturers left making them, and there are not any companies you would invest in. Tesla posts first full-year profit on record China sales. 
I mean, yeah. Uh, China's been really knocking it out of the park with the new Model Y ramp already well underway. This is a kickin' of them butts. Back in November, Xinhua Net reported Tesla to build supercharger factory in China to build, you know, 10,000 superchargers a year. Oh, look at that. Tesla opens it. It's done. It's opened. It's already in production. I mean, if I was an outsider looking in, this would move my estimation of the stock's value, but... You know, I'm just a long-term holder, so I guess here we are. Tesla Roddy is reporting that Tesla's slowest performance car dominates Porsche Taycan in drag, comma, rolling race. And here's the stats. Look at that. 68,000 versus 100 grand. Don't know versus, I mean, it doesn't matter. The whole point is, for 30 grand less, you're getting a car that's a about as fast, if not faster, and yeah, it may not be as sexy, but it's way more practical, and from a brand that actually has a history of making electric vehicles. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Tesla has recalled 135,000 vehicles over touchscreen failures. You know, because the Wall Street Journal has no idea what they're talking about. It's not the screens that failed. It's, it's, the, it's the entertainment computer. It's the front end. It's not the self-driving computer. But I mean, my gosh, guys, if we're going to take you seriously, you have to do at least... I mean, I'm just a YouTuber, and I... Why do I know more about this than the Wall Street Journal... You guys are trash. Strep Throat Capital tweeted at Elon, Can you sell full self-driving you don't own? To which Elon equipped it back. You can't sell houses you don't own. You can't sell cars you don't own. But you can sell stock you don't own. This is BS. Shorting is a scam. Legal only for vestigial reasons. I mean... Some folks is haters, and some folks is right. A clever user figured out what may have been the inspiration for the new cockpit of the Model S. Oh, look at that. It's Kit from Knight Rider. Um, yoke steering wheel, uh, displays, wrapper. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. No, that looks right. Tesla is proud to have scored 100 out of 100 in the LGBTQ equality score for the sixth year in a row. Congratulations all around. To which this ding dong says, that actually makes me want to sell my Tesla. I mean, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I mean, if you've got that much hate in your heart, just go for it. Ugh. The configuration studio for Germany no longer says that Model Y will be available in 2021, but in mid-2021. And I'd like to point out once again, I just recently ran a story, an article, a video about how Giga Berlin would be in production within five months. That was on January 17th. That means my prediction said May 17th, and this is right in line. So, guys, you got to subscribe, hit the bell icon. That's the only way you're going to stay in the loop, because I'm not kidding. I study this stuff nonstop. This is how I do. And if you want to know what's going on, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Squiggly words to the... Oh, let, let, let's translate that. Tesla has launched an ordering site from Israel. Prices are lower than estimated. There are substantial taxes on vehicles sold in Israel, um, but the heftiest taxes are those sold on internal combustion. Battery electric vehicles have the lowest taxes, and even with the luxury taxes applied to Teslas, they are still cheaper or on par with other cars. The SR Plus is priced just around a Toyota Camry, 
And if you want to compare it to a BMW, uh, it's, it's, it's a joke. It's about half the price of a BMW. So, I mean, this is going to be a big seller. Panasonic says Tesla business to be profitable boosts profit outlook. So the good news here is that the interaction between Tesla and Panasonic is generating revenue for Panasonic, meaning they will be likely to continue the relationship. So, I mean, <laughs> more batteries is good. Panasonic backing out would be a real kick in the taint, but they haven't, so, you know, here we are. I reported on this last week, but Biden plans to replace government fleet with electric vehicles. <sighs> kind of looks like Walter. I like Walter. The, um, it's great. The, the fleet, uh, 645,000 vehicles. Now, mind you, that's not in one year, but over the course of probably 10 years, uh, you know, 65,000 vehicles a year, not bad, not bad, we'll take it. Major manufacturer drops hydrogen trucks in favor of battery electrics. Well, um, hydrogen is, without question, a dead end. Sweden's Scania, the world's 10th largest trucking company, says battery electric is the way to go, and they are not mistaken. Hydrogen has fundamental flaws in addition to the fact that there is no infrastructure already set up to handle it. Let it go, guys. Let it go. Ford Mustang Mach-E, U.S. sales and production numbers up in January. Well, this sounds promising. Already over 10,000 produced and 5,000 delivered to dealers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's why they had such massive price cuts on this car. They made 10,000 of them. They only moved half of them and only to dealers, not to customers. Ford announced its U.S. production sales, blah, blah, blah. You, the company delivered 238 Mach-E to customers. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That's bad. This car... I was really hoping for this car to work out, but... <laughs> I mean, my gosh. That's... That's an abject failure, and the dealers are not going to push these. The dealers want to sell ICE cars so they can sell, you know, oil changes and all the nonsense. This is... This is not a good sign. Amazon officially starts using Rivian electric van to make customer deliveries. They churned out a bunch of these bastards from their handmade plant, uh, and it looks like they're going to start making them in a higher volume from their normal Illinois plant soon enough. They have a range of 150 miles. These are going to work out great. Uh, I have absolute confidence that Rivian has made these to the specs necessary for Amazon to find them valuable. And uh, they're going to work. They're going to work. These are absolutely going to work. Uh, that's a um, solution. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Well, you know, who knows? Who cares? Post it in the comments. We'll find out. But in the meantime, uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay juicy. And I can't wait to hear from you clever robots either here today or tomorrow on my much more popular video. We'll see.